Hello, and welcome to The Porch with Alicia Barlow. Hi, I'm Alicia Barlow, author of The Porch, a place for enjoyment, conversation with people, reflection, and encouragement. Hello. Hi. Hi, uh, this is Alicia. I'm here with Bridget. Bridget is one of the new podcast producers here at Possibilities. And I just kind of want to get to know who she is and find out where you came from and what brought you here to Possibilities, you know. So who are you? <laughs> who am I? Well, um, I guess I'll intertwine this with the reason why I came to Possibilities. I am a audio engineer. Um, I have my own band called the Droida, which is spelled D, uh, D-R-O-I-D-A. And we do like experimental synth pop music and perform locally. Um, now, the, the dro- Droida? Yeah. Does that mean something? Or? It's like Android, but just okay. shortened. Okay. Yeah, just the droid with a, an A, Droida. Um, and so I've been doing electronic music uh, since 2016, I believe. Um, and I taught myself how to do audio engineering, producing, mixing, and mastering, um, and all the techie stuff. And so um, I was looking for a bandmate, and one of my coworkers here, Santiago, was recommended to me by a, a mutual friend. Um, and so I reached out to him and asked him if he wanted to play as a part of my band. And then, so we kind of got close that way. And then I was looking for a job and he was a superhero yeah. and recommended this place to me. And now I'm here. So now when did you start doing audio? What did you say? Audio? Audio engineering. Engineering. Uh, yeah. when, when did you start doing that? Oh, it was back around like 2016. 2016? Yeah, I was self-taught. Oh, okay. Through, All right. um, YouTube, mostly watching a lot of uh, tutorials, just anything wow. I wanted to know. That's, that's nowadays, anything you want to know, I mean. It's on YouTube. It's huh? on YouTube. You just got to have, I guess, the, the willpower mm-hmm. to sort through it. So you said that you were... You did audio producing in Los Angeles. Were you living in Los Angeles for a little while? Yes. You're, you're from here, but then you moved to L.A. Yes. So I I, um, I grew up in Edmond, Oklahoma. And um, in, in 2014, I moved out to Los Angeles. I was actually studying film. Okay. So that was more my focus um, back then. I went to went to an editing school. Then I went to, um, I went to a school called Columbia College Hollywood and I learned cinematography for a while, um, which was like the lighting and camera settings and camera movement and that kind of stuff. And then after that, I went to UCLA Extension and I learned the business of management of entertainment. And then I was working in commercials for a while, just doing a bunch of film stuff, as much film stuff as I could possibly do. Um, and, and somewhere along the way, I, kind of got pulled into the music production. Yeah. And so I was like, well, I, I just kind of kept investing more and more into audio equipment and it, I just kept doing it more. And I was like, wow, this is like becoming like a real thing. So I kind of have two passions, but I got pulled a little more in, in the, the music, music part direction. Yeah. So what brought you back to Oklahoma? I mean, you were right there in Los Angeles where audio, um, music, mm-hmm. and Hollywood, yeah. you know, we're there where all things are happening. Yeah. What brought you back here? I mean, I know that Oklahoma is growing, and the industry of music and a film is really becoming more prevalent here in Oklahoma, mm-hmm. but you were in Los Angeles. So what brought you back yeah. here? To be honest, financial struggles, but also COVID came about shortly okay. after. So then I just ended up staying here for a while. Okay. Well, and this is home, right? And this is also my home and it's changed like in the, the amount of time that I was gone, like, oh my goodness, Midtown and downtown is like entirely new. Um, 23rd Street, which is where Uptown is by Tower Theater, that's changed a lot. Oh my goodness. Even Edmond has changed a lot. I just feel like when I came back, I was... You came back at the right time? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> okay. I like the direction that it's headed. I feel like the the music scene and the art scene here in general is, is progressing very rapidly. Good, good. So in your band, do you sing? Do you play? What do you do in your band? So I primarily, I've been stuck in studio mode for so long. (laughs) So I guess I'll I'll start on that part. Um, I produce electronic music. So I kind of experiment with a mix of like analog and 
digital stuff. So I'll mix like software instruments, for example, VSTs, um, and I'll combine that with like real guitars that I, you know, record and kind of experiment. Um, I've been like honing and crafting that, like my sound for a while. Um, and then I, I do some audio engineering, like I mix and master, which is more of the technical sides, like, um, panning certain things left and right and kind of just checking levels, making sure that everything is nice and loud and using a lot of tools. Like I could get into the the technical, but yeah. I don't want to bore you with that part of it. Um, and then I also took when, while I was in Los Angeles, I took guitar lessons and vocal lessons for a while. Um, and so I learned a little bit of lead guitar so that I also do that. And I've been trying to transition from the studio mindset into more of the performance aspect. So I've been performing locally now um, with my band. So and you actually sing? Yeah, I sing. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. And where do you all, where, is, where do you play or what are you sing? You know, where's your gigs? Wherever, <laughs> wherever we can, we've booked a few shows. Um, we're kind of doing things backwards right now where we're kind of performing before the album release because so, I'm hoping it'll time up well to where we're all because I feel like performance in itself takes so much time to be able to like hone the craft. And so I'm hoping that it'll all align when the album releases and then we'll already be ready to like perform on a on a reasonable level. But we've just been performing locally. We performed at um, oh, we performed for uh, Weirder Wednesdays, uh, which is uh, Buddy Jarvik's of mine, his event. I guess he promotes local weird music over in Norman at uh, Opolis. And then we also performed at Point A Gallery. Um, that's over on 39th Street. Um, and then just like a few places here and there, like some open mics and that kind of stuff. You got anything stuff. coming up soon? Not right now. I I need to book shows so that we don't get rusty, but I'm, I'm really just focusing on trying to get the music out okay. and released, so... All right. So this is your first album? Yes. Okay. Wow. Exciting and exciting. So do um, do you have family here? Well, not, I know that you have family here, but children or anything like that? No, no, no children. Okay. All right. No. And so your band members are pretty much friends? Any family? Friends and friends? family. Yeah. They're kind of okay. like my family Yeah. in a sense. Yeah. I think I... It's just so funny because like the friends that I had before I went out to California are still the same friends that I had when I came back. And I hadn't, like, some of them I hadn't spoken to in years. Um, but, yeah, no, they're like my family. They've just picked up right yeah, where you left off. They've, they pull me up. They pull me up so high. So the type of music that you play and that you create, how did you become interested in that type of music? Um, and where do you get your influence from? Well, uh, I listened to a lot of electronic music whenever I was in college. Um, I fell in love with a few artists. Um, so Fanagram was one of them. Uh, Grimes was another one that I really liked. Um, and this is probably back in like, let's see, I would have been college in like 2011 to, I don't know, a few years after, shortly after that. But I just found artists that I really liked. And I was like, wow, this music's kind of different. They were more in like the indie scene and they were doing like indie electronic music. And so I just sort of like, I just really gravitated towards like um, who they were as people and kind of their journey as musicians. And I was realizing, I was like, gosh, I think I'm like more interested in these musicians more than like film directors and stuff, which I can appreciate them too. But I just noticed, I was like, I just really, really like to like hear what they've gone through. And it, their their creativity, I feel like sparked a lot of my own creativity. I just remember like driving through Oklahoma, like on the way from uh, Edmond to Stillwater. And that, you know, like there's like a long, beautiful, like prairie drive. <laughs> and I just remember listening to their music and just having almost visions and visuals of um I don't even know what, but just like different things. And it just made me feel so many emotions that through just following them over the years and being so inspired by them, I just was, I wanted to figure out how to do it on my own and I wanted to try it. 
And now that I have actually learned a little bit more about music production, like I already appreciated the artists that I liked before, but now it's on a level where it's like, oh, wow, now that I understand what they had to do to get their music to where it is, I appreciate them and I can hear their music in an entirely different way. And so. Well, okay. The right. Inspiration. Well, and, and what kind of, what is it, what is the type of music called again? Cause I'm, I'm not familiar with it. I've just been calling it synth pop. Synth pop. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's like ex- experimental synth pop. We use a lot of synthesizers. Um, I use drum machines. I use a lot of guitar pedals at times. I, I get influences from different genres for each song. Okay. I mean, there's still like an overall like style that it has, but I try to not keep it too So consistent. since you are the producer here at Possibilities and you know how to do all this technical type of stuff, when you actually get ready to work on this production here, this podcast, will you be able to insert some of your music, like a clip of it? So that oh, we can I would hear? love to. Yeah. I need to figure something out. Yeah. All right. We'll do that. I'm going to ask that you do that. Just, you know, just a little clip. A little so that we can, okay. Yeah, a little snippet. Okay. So we can kind of, <laughs> kind of hear what you got. Okay, cool. I want to hear what you have. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I'd be happy to show you. Okay. All right. Great. Great. Um, send pop. I'm gonna have to remember that. Do you have a Facebook for people to go to if they want to kind of tag along and follow you? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm currently juggling all the social. Yeah, I'm currently juggling all the social media right now. So uh, the other ones will hopefully be more active in the future. But right now, the main one that I'm primarily using is the Instagram, and you can follow Droida at. Droida Music on Instagram. The username is Droida Music. All right, Droida Music. Okay, all right. Well, Bridget, I know this was kind of a springer, you know, for you to come and join me, but I think it's great for you to come and talk to me. I get to know a little bit about you. And uh, <laughs> how about a little bit about yourself? Can well, I ask you? Well, sure. What, what, what? What is, what are your creative passions? Well, um, I enjoy writing. And so, of course, this is The Porch. And I am the author of a book called The Porch. And um, so that many of the guests, such as yourself, I ask, just come and join me on The Porch. What do you do on The Porch? Enjoy the beautiful scenery on a nice sunny day. What else do you do on The Porch? What are some things that you, when you think of a porch, what do you think of? Peace. I think of I think of peace and relaxation. Relaxation. Yeah, the green grass, mm-hmm. clouds in the sky that are just beautiful on like a on a clear, you know, like a clear blue sky with beautiful luscious white. Yeah, clouds. yeah. And so, if there's family or friends around, what do you do with family or friends on the porch? Well, I actually did this like was it last weekend or the weekend before? I stayed at my friend's house, um, and we mostly I just watched him do like yard work. <laughs> me and my friend and we were just swinging and just making jokes but yeah yeah but you were out there having relationships and talking with them and just kind of communicating and just kind of hanging out with with yeah um, with them on the porch and that's kind of what this is we just kind of hang out and talk and get to know who people are what do you do on the porch I'm, I'm, I you know when I when I get a chance to get on the porch I enjoy I enjoy just sitting I like the people watch so um um, I'll people watch, you know, look at people walking the, up and down the street. And my porch is kind of, I must say, it sits kind of behind a bush. So sometimes people may not even know that I'm out there. Um, and that might be getting ready to change real soon. I'm, getting ready, I'm working on my yard here and it needs work. <laughs> but yes, I, I like to kind of sit and, and that kind of stems from growing up and visiting with my father or my grandmother. 
they would sit on the porch and people just would walk by or drive by or ride their bicycles and everybody knew who people were and just kind of waved at people and just kind of got to know people in their community, their neighborhood. And so that's, I I really like that. That is a very beautiful visual. (laughs) And talk about beautiful memories. I feel like that's that's so interesting. That yeah, it, well, yeah, I think a porch brings helps to bring about memories and positive memories and and you know just you know great feelings of positive things in the past. You know, so so yeah, so I appreciate you joining me on the porch today. Yeah, uh-huh. thank you so much for um, allowing me to be on the show. I'm honored. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for listening and joining me on the porch. Remember to take time to reflect, share memories, and engage with others on your porch. And I'll meet you here next time on The Porch, your podcast for community conversations. Brought to you by the Possibilities Podcast Platform.